Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It is almost a taste test Tuesday, but it's not said, the right day. I almost said what's cooking Wednesday, but we're not cooking. Well, we kind of are. Sort of. We don't have a catchphrase for gadgets on Wednesdays. I know. What works Wednesday? <laughs> yeah. will, will it work? Will it work Wednesday with our Maybe. gadgets? There, that might work. That could be. We won't remember. All right, it's a gadget day here at Big John's. You guys love gadgets. We missed it last month, so here we go. We got one for you today. Another awesome Goodwill find. This one was $4.99 at our local Goodwill. Four. I think it may have been a half off day, so I may have only paid like $3 for it instead. Yes. It was half of five. Well, three. you know, with tax and everything. Instead of being five, it was like $2.50 plus tax. I do know math. Okay. If, I, <laughs> if, I, if you were to walk up to this on a shelf in a store without anything on there, yeah, no packaging, no directions. Would you know what this is? And what it's supposed to do? What would your first guess be, honestly? I like, you can see the thumbnail, you can see the food on the table. What would you think? I, that, it, this is just completely random looking to me. It really is. Cause like you look at it and you go, what sort of item would go in this like crescent half moon shape? Right. And you've got this weird <clears throat> little baskety thing. P.S. Bear with the noise, we're outside. Clearly. You guys also dig the outdoor videos, especially when everybody in the world is locked indoors. And we're, we're gonna get these opportunities as much as we can and, and take advantage of them, so mm -hmm. here we go. But then we get the, the pig and the chicken and the ducks walking at us, yes. so bear with it, is so, what it is. So we'll investigate this a bit further. It's got a lever, remind you of a toaster. Yep. It's got a dial, remind you of a toaster. Yep. A little stop button reminds you of a toaster. Yep. It's, a so, si it's the size of a toaster. A little bit bigger than a toaster, a little bit taller, but clearly not for a normal slice of bread. Right. No, there's no bagels. It's got there's the crumb no, tray. Yeah, no bagels gonna go in there, no slice of bread. So what is it, John? Well, I don't know why, how you would know this, and I don't know what I think maybe everybody in their life has seen one in the box in a store at some point i maybe guess everybody gets given one at some that point that could in their be life. too this is a hot dog cooker now you know, my theory on gadgets is it has to be an improvement on a cooking uh, it has to improve on something and make it easier or better right yes well the problem with hot dogs right out of the bat is that there's a million ways to do it and in fact, and some of them are really simple. And for, in, in fact, for me, I could just eat it cold out of the package, and I, that's perfectly fine. I don't do cold hot dogs. <laughs> Comment down below: Are you team cold hot dog, or do they have to be warm? Have to be warm and, and then, preferably charred. And then tell, yeah, tell me your favorite method: boiled, microwaved, steamed, grilled, fried. One of my new preferred methods. We just realized the air fryer. The air fryer does do them pretty the nice. The air fryer does a really good hot dog. Um, Okay, so this is, a, uh, this is a hot dog toaster, mm -hmm. but it doesn't just toast the hot dogs. Right, right. It also toasts the bun at the same time. And so it does two dogs and two buns at once. Yep. So I'm assuming that they want us to open this up. You did, we didn't bring a knife. Oh. Yep, look at that, it fits in there perfectly. Can you do it? Or do I gotta get a knife? I'll get it. It's only on the other side of the camera. I can go get one. No. You're gonna get hot dog juice in your mouth. Yep. <laughs> hey, you got it. Yeah, I didn't get it on me or nothing. Whew. So, she, did she show you this little? Yeah, so it's got this little tray. Little sleeve, two sleeves in there. A little hot dog holder. <laughs> Not to go in there. These so, are the long dogs. They might not work as good, huh? Well, you know, it doesn't, you know, because you get it at the Goodwill, you don't get instructions. You don't get what works and what doesn't. You just get to guess. All right. It goes from level one to level five. I think I'll stick within the middle. What do you think? Yeah. Do, um, do the middle and then someone's going to have to get us a plate because oh, that's true. we have to figure that out. So like it doesn't want to drop in all the way. Yep. So I had to kind of push it. While this is cooking, um, I wanted to talk about a book that I was sent recently. It's been kind of a while, but I did want to work on this, uh, share this book with you. And we're talking hot dogs, it was a perfect timing. This is an illustrated children's book by Jimmy Chestbump 
called Hot Dog Eating Champ. And I'm going to read this to you until the, pop, the hot dogs pop up, and then you're going to have to go buy your own. We're going to post the link in our Amazon storefront. Um, you can find it on Amazon. Oh, this smells like it's going to catch on fire. It does. It smells super electrical. This is all about becoming a championship hot dog eater. Great illustrations. Really fun story. Many years ago at a family barbecue, I proved that I could eat despite an unimpressive chew. I put down 18 dogs, twice as many as my bro, but as many as that was, I ate them awfully slow. I just had to accept that my eating hit a ceiling. It made my family proud though, and that was a nice feeling. Are you sharing the pictures or no? I should. It's like a like a kindergarten class. You go like this, you know? Yep. Look at this And then children. you still have that kid that says, I can't see! I can't see it. Well, you should have paid more attention. And while nice feelings are nice, I knew inside my gut, for the varsity eating tryouts, I might not make the cut. Our school took lots of pride in being number one eating every type of food like the hot dog and the bun so look at the and there's an asterisk and what does it say for the asterisk it says also known as hdb which in real competitive eating terminology is a thing there's a lot of things in this book that are true legit factoids within the realm of competitive eating which is kind of cool there are no real competitive eating names in here but there's a lot of twists and like close to sounding like the names Look at that. Are these going to pop up? I don't know. And the guy that ate the most back at summer eating camp was looking to defend his title at state, as state champ. I always thought this guy was a show off and a jerk. Oh. Oh, and a jerk. If I was going to beat him, I was going to have to work. So how does this story end, guys? We're going to post a link to it down below in the Amazon storefront. Thank you for sending me this book. This was awesome. I really do enjoy it. Um, it's a fun read. Like if you were reading this to a kindergarten class, I think it's awesome. I think it's a great idea. So check it out. I'm not getting anything for this. It was just a, a fun promotion that I thought it was cool and I wanted to share. So okay. there. I think we may end up pop, popping these back down. Okay. The bun is just very slightly warm, especially on one edge where it actually made contact with the metal. Okay. What number out of what number did you cook these I on? I put this on a three out of five. You want to pop it back in? Yeah. And then the hot dogs. You want to rotate them? Or just keep them this way. That ain't even that. It's not even that warm. Do three again, or Probably. pump it all the way up to five. Go three again. Okay. And then we're gonna probably need to grab a plate real quick. All right, let's so go we'll get a be, plate. We'll be right back. And and boom, they popped just as the the plates came out. We're ready to go. Um, you can do it like this. Oh, good call. All right, that's a bit Ow. better. Crap. All right, so the edges of this hot dog bun are toasted burnt, and the insides, they're warm through. But you know what? They're not too crispy, crunchy, no. like dried out. The hot dog's got a good amount of color on it, actually. Kind of uneven. Quite hot. So, route level three. Twice. Twice. Was, was not bad. Is still, yeah, like... Not we're bad. Tasting it, do you want to put a couple more yep, in? For yep. Level five. Yep. Because I want to see. Because for me, I like the hot dogs charred. If I'm gonna cook them like this, I want them charred. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Here Scissor. goes. Level five. Yep. All right. Hand me the mustard. Because I have to have mustard on my hot dog. Sorry. So my question though is, like is it's the center. It's hot on the outside. If I do this. Yep, hot it's, all hot, the way it's hot all the way through. Nice. So that's kind of cool. So realistically, I think this would be like nice for kids because I don't necessarily want Jamie boiling water. Mm -hmm. The toaster oven, he can handle that. He's not out here grilling on his own. So this could be a good way for him to heat up. Microwave sometimes goes crazy with hot dogs and explodes them and stuff. And he's weird because as soon as they, <laughs> as soon as they blow open in the microwave, or the water, he thinks they're gross and he won't mm -hmm. eat them. So doing it like that, and in fact, if they're charred, he also won't really eat them. So yeah, like, so once on the level three would be perfect for him. Right, like warm through. It's not bad. Do you get a slightly electrical taste off of them? Um, let me try the burnt corner of the bread. It, 
it smells and tastes a little bit like the machine. My hair is tickling my face. Do you get that? Maybe it's just me smelling. I was gonna say, maybe we're smelling it. Mm, I'm not really tasting it. Okay. So I think it's just our nose playing a trick on us. Now, for me, this doesn't solve enough of a problem. What are doing? The outside of my bun is not very hard or warm. Uh, so I was wondering if the outside is heated too. Okay. But it does seem pretty warm in there. But maybe it's just the radiant heat. I don't think there's a heating element on this outer edge. Uh, see, I can see the elements inside the hot dog cavern. Right. There and there. So it must just radiate around all the way around. I think so too. Which is good because I don't want this side to get too, too crunchy right. and hard. Right, right. Kind of big, kind of a big, like, space taker upper. A lot of square inchage on the, uh, hold on. Uh, a lot of square inchage in the kitchen counter. Square inch. inchage. <laughs> but, like, it does work. Yeah. It does what it's supposed to do. Why did that hot dog just dance? I saw that, too. It got my attention because it flinched in there. I think it's like, sizzling a bit. Yeah, it's going to, like... Should I bring it in closer and show them it cooking down in? Sure. You want to bring that camera or you want me to record on my phone? Oh, you do your phone. All right. So you, can you see down inside of there? There it is. So there's heating elements on either side. Oh, there's, is there a bit of a heating element down at the bottom, too? Maybe. Some of that. Is that a bit of you? Oh, I think it's the red plastic showing through holes in the metal. That's what I'm seeing. I want to get my phone too hot there. Oop. There's five. There we go. A level five. All right. So let's see what these dogs look like up close coming out of there. So it looks like the same as the three almost. Woo. Those are hot. All right. Back up here. Those are really hot. They got, it's still really an uneven heating. Yeah. It's like dark and then nothing, then a little bit dark and then nothing and then back to that spot. And it's weird too because yours is completely different than mine. Yeah, different patterns. Different patterns, different elements in there, does different things. So. Your ride's here. <laughs> it is heated all the way through. It's a decent way to heat them up. It's a decent way to cook a dog. I don't hate it. Right. Would I keep this in my kitchen? Is there a spot for it in the garage? Probably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely there. If I find it half off at a Goodwill store for $3? Right. Absolutely. If you were a fan of Snoopy, it'd be a bonus. Can somebody tell me why this is Snoopy related at all? Well, it's red because his house was red. Yeah. So what was the company's name? How hot does this get? And that's a it's good question too. too. This is from Smart Planet. Okay. Household use only. Do not immerse in water or liquid. Good call. Snoopy so, hot dog toaster. So comment down below if you've if you've seen one of these, if you've had one of these, your thoughts is on this. Is this just a US thing? Do you think this is available in other countries? I doubt it. Hot dogs aren't as big in other countries, are they? They're a little bit That's different. Like an American yeah, thing. different texture and type and everything else too. Interesting. But I think this is a decent item. Um my main problem with it, of course, is that it's a unitasker. Yeah. It does one thing, right. but it at least does that one thing well. Right. I wouldn't pay full price. It's it, it's legit worth worth a Goodwill four or five bucks. Yes. Two or three bucks. Mm -hmm. Garage sale, a couple bucks. Yep, I agree. Like, I don't hate what it does. It warms up a hot dog. <laughs> I gotta watch my behind the pigs <laughs> coming behind us. Hot dog time. The pig's like, let's eat. Uh, at some point, guys, we are going to give you a video with the rest of these animals out here. Um, we do have bees that we just brought in, so you guys are going to get to see those at some point, too. Um, hi, Sam. Hi, Crouchy. She's like, I better get a hot dog soon. She's going to bite somebody in the rear end. Oh, no, she laid down to get okay, scratches. Okay, good. Okay, um, so I showed you the book. Um, these are available paperback or Kindles and eBooks and all that kind of stuff, too, so check it out. Um, we'll post any kind of information we can find on this. We'll post too. Um, smash the like button. Comment down below if you want to keep seeing gadgets. I know you guys like them, but just, you know. I need more ideas for gadgets that are not egg cooking gadgets. Right, because the next one we do at some point we have on hand is a, another egg one. So we wanted to space it out because the last two were egg related too. So yep. but that's what they had at the Goodwill stores. So Apparently people didn't enjoy them. Right. All right, guys. 
make sure you've done all the things. Hope you enjoyed this video. Yep, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And we'll catch you on the next one. There you go. Bye. Thank you guys.